This is the largest increase in testosterone that we've seen in the literature. Nothing comes close. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys exactly what happened in this study and how you could apply it to your life so that you can stop wasting your money on these stupid supplements that most of the time don't even do anything. Hey guys, going on Megan here. All right, so let's get straight to the point. This is the largest increase in testosterone ever. As you guys know, I've been studying testosterone for almost two decades. I've read thousands and thousands of studies, not hundreds, thousands of studies on testosterone. And I've categorized all the different studies that showed significant increases in testosterone. I put them in order, right? You got from competition being number one, which led to the largest increase, all the way down to the different items, sex, sunlight, sleeping, supplements, lifting hard, whatever. But let's talk about this one here which was the biggest increase in free testosterone ever. Keep in mind, this one here is free testosterone, which is what actually counts. All right, so let me show you guys exactly what happened in this study. All right, so here's the study here. The sources are going to be in the description. So they looked at a group of six players, to be precise, six chess players. For those of you who are not familiar with testosterone, testosterone goes up drastically during competition. In fact, competition is the single factor that increases testosterone more than anything else. It increases more than lifting, more than sex, more than any supplement you could take. Obviously not more than TRT, but you know, that's obviously not natural. Competition in humans and in non-human primates has consistently been the biggest testosterone booster. But here's what makes this one special. Because a lot of people think that you actually have to fight, right? Do physical competition to increase testosterone. No, testosterone goes up in response to any challenge to your status. So it doesn't have to be physical. It could be mental. Right, anything that has to do with your status being challenged, testosterone is gonna go up to push you to defend your status, or in some cases to push you to increase your status. It is the single biggest testosterone booster in the animal kingdom. Competition. But long story short, without boring you guys too much, you could read the study I'll put it in the description. But they looked at six very high level chess players. And again, the goal of the study was to see, you know, put them against each other and see the changes in testosterone based on what happens when a player challenges somebody stronger or better than him. Um, but again, I'm going to try to keep this video short and not too technical. Here you can see the changes in testosterone for each player. And at the bottom, you can see the difference in ELO. For those of you guys who are not familiar with chess, ELO is just to measure how good you are in chess, right? So players that have a really good ELO, that's going to be the grandmasters and the experts and all that stuff, right? These guys were experts, right? The ELO was at least 2,000, which is insane. And they've been playing for years. But long story short, they went up against each other. And just as the researchers hypothesized, as a player was facing a challenge to his status, meaning he was playing um, somebody better than him, somebody with a higher ELO score, his testosterone levels went through the roof on average, right? So the average increase, you know, you can see there's different increases for each player. The average increase was about 150%. I did all the math. Um, but there's one guy in particular, which is player two. He's a freaking legend. His testosterone levels went up by almost 600%. And in theory, more than 600%. In fact, I had to, ca had to cap it at 700% because it most likely went higher. And I'm going to explain why. So as you can see here, when he was facing, so this is where he's starting to, you know, free testosterone levels. By the way, these are free testosterone levels. So these are testosterone levels that can actually quickly bind to the androgen receptor and do what testosterone does, right? The other total testosterone also has a role, but again, that's a topic for a different video. But overall, free testosterone is significantly more important than total testosterone. But anyway, as you can see here, his free testosterone testosterone levels started around the 90 range and that went up as much as almost 600 percent but here's the cool thing here right the researchers had to make them take a break after each chess match because after a competition testosterone levels go up even higher right so during the competition when you're about to face the challenge your testosterone levels go up but even after the competition testosterone levels go up even higher if you're a winner on average your t levels go up even higher if you lost the competition, in some studies, the, the testosterone levels go down, but in some other studies, the testosterone levels stay the same or go up, again, even higher, right? So, so it's not conclusive, but one thing that the research agrees on is that during a competition, most people's testosterone levels go up. And I'm going to explain in a separate video what decides if your T levels are going to go up or not. Um, but after the competition, winner's T levels go up even higher, right? Again, on average, sometimes the loser's T levels go up even higher than the winner. Again, it depends on the person's personality. And I'm going to mention that in different videos. But the cool thing about this guy here is that the researchers didn't measure his testosterone levels after this bout, right? If they had, there would have been 
at least 20 to 30 percent higher again this is based on the literature like i said i've read so many studies on this i know exactly how the mechanisms work all right so this would have went up even 20 to 30 percent higher minimum sometimes 50 percent right so here his testosterone levels went up almost 600 percent right but if the researchers had decided to test his levels after that competition we can only imagine how much higher it would have been right i capped it at 700 percent to not make it too extreme but this thing could have been a thousand percent increase who knows right and all they did was play chess right and then some of the other guys also got big testosterone increases player six <laughs> he barely got anything but the other guys you know, also have de had decent increases in free testosterone. One guy got a 70% increase. One guy got a 120% increase. Another guy got an 82% increase. Crazy, crazy increases in testosterone levels just from sitting down and playing chess, right? And I could also show you guys in the future, this is not an isolated incident. This happens um, in other competitions, in, uh, in even in video games, in soccer, in wrestling. Any time a person's testosterone level is a challenge, especially if the person is motivated by power, the testosterone levels go up through the roof. And as you can see, the tougher the opponent, the tougher the challenge, meaning the bigger the threat to the player's reputation, on average, testosterone levels tended to rise, right? So if you're challenging somebody significantly weaker than you, then depending on the situation, your T levels might not even budge, right? Depending on how, how much the person is threatening your status, right? And then again, I could make another video about this guy here, player four. Jeez, I mean, guys, look at his starting free testosterone levels. They were through the roof. To put it in perspective, the average person is down here in terms of free testosterone, right? The average person has free testosterone levels of about um, usually around 100 to 150 picogram per milliliter. Uh, but now because testosterone levels have been declining, most people are usually around 80, 90 picogram per milliliter. Um, people that have high status tend to have significantly higher free testosterone, so around 200 or more. In fact, there's another study, if you guys want, I could also cover, that showed that elite soccer players have higher testosterone levels than amateur soccer players. Again, back to the status thing. They have to defend their status all the time. But yeah, so to put it in perspective, the average person's free testosterone levels are down here, right? Around 100, maybe 150 picogram per milliliter. If the person is very disciplined with their diet, then it could go up into the 200 or 300 range. You know, again, if they're disciplined with their diet, training and lifestyle and stuff like that. And look how high. I mean, these are TRT levels, type of free testosterone levels. Now, obviously, keep in mind, this doesn't stay up forever. It comes down after the challenge. Um, but sometimes it stays elevated for up to a day or more. Again, there's a lot of individual variations. Sometimes it comes back down within an hour. And once again, like I explained in so many videos in the past, especially my NoFap video, we see the exact same phenomenon in animals, right? We see it in gorillas, we see it in birds, we see it in, in fish. Whenever they're competing for status, whenever they're competing for mates, the T levels go through the roof and then the T levels go back down when they're not competing right? Because the body doesn't want to waste resources and keep increasing your testosterone levels, which is very, very costly to do, by the way. And for those who are wondering why the testosterone levels went up so high, keep in mind, it's not because of luteinizing hormone, right? Most people are familiar with the basic um, testosterone production pathway where your brain, your hypothalamus sends gonadotropin-releasing hormone to your pituitary gland, which releases luteinizing hormone, which comes down to your testicles and causes your Leydig cells to absorb cholesterol and convert it into pregnenolone and progesterone, DHEA, androstenedione, and eventually testosterone, right? But this process actually takes a very long time, right? There's about a 40-minute to 60-minute lag time between the production of luteinizing hormone and the release of testosterone. But the pathway that most people are not aware about is the one through catecholamine, such as noradrenaline, adrenaline. Uh, if you live in the U.S., then it's norepinephrine and epinephrine. Um, catecholamines increase testosterone without luteinizing hormone and this happens very fast right so with luteinizing hormone you have about a 40 minute to 60 minute lag time right whereas with catecholamines your body can quickly increase testosterone so that you can quickly rise to the challenge right very very few people know about that pathway right everybody just knows the basic luteinizing hormone that one is way too slow and the reason why the human body has evolved to have this quick mechanism to release testosterone is because you can't always wait for luteinizing hormone you can't always wait till the person sleeps and gets a ton of lh or whatever sometimes the body needs quick testosterone production for you to rise to the challenge defeat a foe or engage in sexual activities and that's where the catecholamine pathway comes through and that's what happened in the study right Whenever you're competing, your body releases a ton of adrenaline and a ton of noradrenaline, which are obviously made from dopamine. And those catecholamines quickly go to your testes and allow you to quickly absorb cholesterol and make testosterone extremely fast. That's why you see this crazy increase in free testosterone. 
So as you can see, as I've told you guys time and time again, year after year, the biggest testosterone booster is competition. That is your purpose as a male. That's what you evolved to do. Compete, compete, compete. Find a niche and dominate it. Remember, that's literally the meaning of Team 3D Alpha. I based Team 3D Alpha on this principle of dominance, discipline, direction. The first one being dominance. Find something you're good at and always compete at it. Compete to be better. Compete to make the world a better place. Compete to add value to the world. And that is the best way to channel your primal instincts into value. Find something you're good at and that you obsess about and constantly compete. Like I say, it doesn't have to be something physical. It could be mental. One of the primary reasons why you guys are walking around with low T all the time is because you're not in competitive environments. Everyone is comfortable. Everyone just wakes up, does the bare minimum just to get by, plays video games all day, jacks off all day, does the basic nine to five, comes back home, watches TV, and again, you wonder why your free testosterone levels are not constantly elevated, right? You're never defending your status. You're never defending your throne. So your brain is thinking, why the hell would I give this guy excess testosterone levels? It's a waste of energy. The body hates wasting energy, right? So stop wasting your money on supplements. Stop wasting your money on the new latest hack. Stick to what has worked for millions of years of evolution, right? Have a clean diet, exercise, be sexually active, sleep, get sunlight, and most importantly, compete, right? Skip the pro-hormone part, by the way. None of you guys should be messing around with that stuff. But yeah, eat healthy, sleep, train, but most importantly, compete. All right, guys, that's it. See you guys in the Discord. See you guys in the Reddit. Post all your questions there. Stay tuned for the next video. Good luck. Team 3D Alpha, Dominance Discipline Direction. I'm out of here. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video. Subscribe and hit the bell. And buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.